This training video is on the creation of loops within a video. Let's begin by briefly reviewing what a loop or looping area is. A loop is an area within a video that you designate to play repetitively. And you designate this area by setting beginning and ending loop points. Loops not only play repetitively, but they can also hold tempo and or key settings that are different from the remaining or the rest of the video. Lastly, each looping area can be customized with different settings from any other looping area. So with that as an introduction, let's move on to how you create loops. And there are really two ways to do this. One is to use the start and the end buttons that you'll find over here in the looping control area of the user interface. And the way you would do that is you would allow the video to play. And when you reach a point that you would like to begin to isolate that part of the video, you simply click the start button. And when you do that, you can see that a inverted green triangle is placed on the timeline. And that is to mark the beginning part of the looping area that you're going to create. And then as the video continues to play, and you reach the end of the area that you're interested in, you click the end button, and that sets this inverted red triangle here again. And once you've set both beginning and ending loop points, then it actually creates a shading area over this so you know that this is a looping area and you can easily see it on your timeline. A second way to create a looping area is to use your mouse and left click to set the beginning and right click to set the ending loop area. Again, you're going to want some guidance as to where you're setting these loop points and you're probably going to do that as the video plays so you can see what's going on and decide that that's where you would like to begin a looping area and correspondingly this is where you'd like to end it. Two other aids that you may have in setting these loop points are to zoom in on the timeline and there's a different video that shows you how to do that. Essentially right click, drag and hold. And the second aid may be these freeze frame buttons that allow you to carefully go forward or backwards so you can more precisely determine where you would like to set these loop points. A looping area can be removed from the timeline by hovering your mouse over top either the beginning or the ending loop point and right clicking and when you do that you'll see a context menu open up and it allows you to delete it by selecting the delete option. A second way to delete or remove a loop is simply to select that loop and you select a loop by placing this progress indicator with inside of the looping area and once you've done that if you click the delete button over here you will then delete that looping area. Lastly I'd like you to know that you can rename a looping area by right clicking, selecting edit, and then typing in different text where the label designation now is such as solo guitar. When you've done that, you'll see that you've changed the label for the loop. So that will conclude this video on what a looping area is and how you create these in Video Surgeon.